Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me Esther and I'm back with the evaluation video about my previous series that I done which was the truth about COVID-19. If you do like the video, don't forget to like, comment, share and do subscribe if you're a new subscriber. Okay. So, obviously making this series has been really eye-opening for me because I found out things that I didn't really know, you know? And once again, the aim of making this series was to um, inspire you people to do your own research and find out things for yourselves because so much is happening that we don't know about and they're just telling us what they think we want to hear and just covering up the, the truth. One of the problems that I faced while making this series was one, the editing is really long. I'm not complaining about that, trust me, I love editing, but this was really long and the research is long as well because you have to get the facts you know you can't just be going off of things that you know or you've just heard and stuff you have to go off with the facts that was quite challenging as well but it was good actually because it made me see how much work you know it takes to do something like this like a series like this the other problem i faced was my previous computer basically it just stopped working for some reason like literally just stopped and obviously to get a replacement one i had to wait for two weeks and that put me way back like that's why i ended up just making videos like different videos but then i thought to myself Do you know what like you just have to keep on going you can't just give up and my laptop finally i got a new laptop it took about two weeks to come oh but you know what it's, it, it's finally here so i can just get on with my work on the positive side i experienced obviously gaining much knowledge about this pandemic that is going on and just being able to do something that is positive and inspire people that made me feel good because a lot of people don't know what to do like I don't, a lot of people just believe what they're doing and that can put a strain on people so i just thought doing something like that would be good in terms of like helping people and just educating people and as you can see some of the videos got quite a lot of views which i'm grateful for thank you guys so much you know i appreciate that so much and let's get the views up on these other episodes the one thing that i would have done differently um would be definitely filming everything all at once because i filmed things like i filmed a video as i go because most of the time like when i'm doing my filming and stuff like it depends on how i'm feeling or how um, my day has been because obviously i kind of do full time as well like working so i've got limited days to actually do stuff but when i get the chance on my days off i get onto it quickly get sorted but yes, the one thing I would have done differently is to film everything in one go so that I have all the footage and because obviously with my laptop got messed up the editing is a bit complicated meaning that I have to use um, softwares like Adobe or Final Cut Pro and when I had problems with my laptop that means I couldn't use them I could only use my phone and on my phone I can't really access Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro the only thing I had was Premiere Rush. It was good, it was okay, don't get me wrong, but it's not as good as um, Premiere Pro or Final Cut. And yeah, that's the one thing that I would have done differently, definitely. Okay, thank you guys again for watching and supporting. If you do like the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and do subscribe if you're a new subscriber. So that we can get this family up and going, you know, for more exciting, educational and inspirational content. I'll see you guys in my next episode. Take care, guys.